Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of the Parrot Pod. Every week, we bring you local resources, local parenting experts, or any moms, dads, or even other local experts in the know uh, to test your knowledge, to bring you some information, to have a little fun. And we also do some fun giveaways. Tonight is a very special giveaway. We are going to be giving away $100 cash. We are giving away $100 cash today. All you have to do is give us a comment or a, uh, a comment. You have to comment, otherwise you don't get entered. And that will enter you to enter into the randomizer for the end of the night. Cheers, Diane. It is our holiday cocktail mocktail special. And I'm so pleased we're going to be joined by, uh, again, special guest, local mixologist, and um, amazing guy all around, David McLean, is joining us. He's at the Landfall. And also, we are going to be joined as well as by Alexandra Speck. And she's a local mom, blogger, and, and she's just very funny. So we're going to have some fun tonight, everybody. And I'm so excited you're going to join us. So without further ado, let me bring on David first, and then I'll bring on Alex. David, come on in. How's it going, everybody? Nice to see you again, David. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holiday Season. It, it is Hanukkah, Hanukkah, right? It Here's is Hanukkah. Fun. It's Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Everybody celebrating Hanukkah tonight. May the Festival of Lights bring a lot of light to our darkness right now, right? And then we got Christmas, Kwanzaa, all, all kinds of fun Boxing coming up. Day. Boxing Day. Oh, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> so David's going to be taking us through some holiday cocktails. Uh, and I'm going to let him um, give you a quick introduction about himself and a quick background, who you are and where you work and everything, real quick, and then I'll bring Alex on. Uh, so those of you who haven't seen this past video with me uh, uh, guesting here on the Parent Pod, um, I work at the Landfall Restaurant. I've been working there for 10 years. Every day's a great day there. Love my bosses. Um, we run the cocktail program there, and we can pretty much make anything that you want to. But tonight, I'm going to teach you how to make a couple winter festive drinks. Oh, they're going to be fun, everybody. They're going to be fun. Jennifer says hi to you. So handsome. He is, isn't he? He's like, Jennifer, it's because he's working out with you. I have to say, the Instagram stories of you two working out together, they were fabulous. And I want to give a special shout out to David and Jennifer. They ran a fundraiser last weekend to help raise money for the Family Service Center, right? Yeah. And how much did you raise? I raised um, just about over $1,000. A thousand dollars for our local family service center. Amazing, amazing. So um, definitely check them out. I'm sure there's going to be other fundraisers coming up. And what a fun way to do it with the Peloton. And you bike. can still donate. Yeah, you can if still donate. You write donate. a check to the family service center and just write in the little line, Sweat Studio Cape Cod. Then it's, it's a good gift to still give. And Jennifer just told us there's over $7,000 was raised. Um, and Jennifer was a past guest, if, if you haven't seen her, and we'll be having her back in the new year, because uh, weight loss is always a good goal for the new year. Sure we were is. just talking Anytime about Anytime is a good time. Anytime. I, I might have to hire David as my trainer. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm so happy you guys were able to do that. So let's bring on Alex real quick, David. And here we go. We're going to have some fun tonight. What's what are you drinking over there? Um, right now I have a little mature. Is that a price point wine? Um, it's only ten ninety nine at Dean's or at uh, Tea Ticket Market <laughs> or Andy's. Anyway, great Sauvignon Blanc. That's what I'm having. But I'm gonna switch it up when David makes some fancy cocktails because. It's cocktail hour. It is cocktail right hour. I'm brewed off uh, with some stuff in the book. Yeah, look at my tree, too. Hey now. Look at the tree. Right? Like, and the stockings. And the dog bed. Guys, those of you on Cape Cod Moms watching this, like, I am the example of a mom that you want to be. Like, I have seven a Blanc and a tray. A quintessential mom you ever did see. Like, hashtag amazing mom. <laughs> 
Um, so just a reminder, tell everybody what they could win tonight, David. Can you tell them again? I'm going to put this across the bottom of the page. Um, so tonight uh, you have the opportunity to win a $100 cash card. All you have to do is comment on the show and you'll be randomly entered into win at the end of this show, right? That's kind of what I'm doing over here on the side. I'm entering people as they yes. come in. So you'll see me in and out all night. Um, so one of the first strengths we're gonna start with is actually a mocktail, okay, Alex? We're starting with a mocktail. Okay. We did not make this one. We're just gonna share the recipe. All the recipes from tonight will be up on the website starting later this evening or tomorrow. So you'll be able to get them, make your shopping list. Um, so I'm just going to pop up over here on the side. You won't be able to see the full recipe, but this, this holiday, um, spirit free sangria is really tasty. I had it for Thanksgiving. My grandmother actually made it. Wow. <laughs> it could be dangerous with spirits. Definitely dangerous. You're not going to taste the alcohol. I guarantee it without alcohol. There is orange bitters in the recipe, which actually gives it this alcoholic taste. Um, but it is spare free. It goes real nice with a nice cheese board, or which we love. <laughs> we love a good. We cheese love board. a good cheese board. Who doesn't, right? Um, ah, yeah. <laughs> or some chocolate for dessert. So this one, a spirit free sangria, which we did not make tonight, will be available from the uh, website with the ingredients. So now let's get started on the other one. Let's get straight <laughs> into it. Okay, let me just interject. Last time when we did these cocktails, I tried to make cocktails too with David. Um, I didn't have the ingredients and my cocktails were kind of less than. So I've decided this time to um, play the person or be the person who I am, which is like, what are you doing? And I'm gonna like ask him how to make these drinks. Cause like, I don't really get it. Like I didn't do it right last time. So I wanna help you guys at home figure out how to write them how to make them correctly because the way that I made them weren't as tasty because I did go into landfall and he made some tasty drinks and mine didn't taste like that. So I'm going to ask him exactly how he makes his drinks taste so good. Oh, LT Slater. I don't drink mocktails. Just That's a cool bottle, okay, LT. You can, you just can always put a little. You can put what, champagne. <laughs> you can put, and thank you for chiming in, Leona Silva. Best mom, so cute. Thank you, Jennifer Caprio, Katie O'Connell. What's with the bar face? And no, that's a money face, Alex. That's a money. Hi, face. Diane, my coworker. I love her. <laughs> oh, well, everyone's so cute. Thank you for checking in, people. Okay, David, do you want to start with your first cocktail? Are we, are we starting? All right, I think we should. Hi, Bailey. Do the um, peppermint martini. Yeah. So we have our martini glass here, and. Uh, and on this dish here, you can't really see, but um, I have maple syrup. You can use honey or like whatever you want, just as long something as you sweet, get something right? that could you use something agave? sweet, agave you could use, just anything that's going to get the crushed up candy cane to stick to the glass. Now, how did, did you like crush up the candy cane with like a mortar and pestle in your house? Oh, no. The, Amy hammering it out earlier on her Instagram story. <laughs> I okay. In preparation for this. I moment. use the knife sharpener from the knife block. You know, like the big, is that what it is? I don't know what, what, what is that knife? You know, the big long one that isn't sharp. That's the one I used to bang it out in the baggie. I don't know what it is. <laughs> she did a great job. Plus, mom, I know all my knives are for, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kinds of pieces. I definitely, chops, little chunks. Yeah. I definitely cook a lot. So. <laughs> Put that on Alex, I wish you were here drinking these with me because I feel like, um, you know, I might be drinking too much today. Uh, it's okay. I'm having drinks here. And I also <laughs> have um, tequila when we come up with tequila drink. So I like this one, David. I like that you incorporated the candy cane rim, rim because um, yeah. candy canes are like the bane of my existence. They're everywhere in my and I'm like, what are you doing? Well, let's add like a sweet element. Yeah. Plus it gets oh, real David, that's hot. That bringing home. Let us see you eat that candy cane, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, All right, we got that that that. so I'm going to tell you what's in this. I like to use vanilla vodka, smear knot, and get the nips. If you're doing this for a large party, get the big bottle. 
Hi, Mallory. Amy found this uh, Mozart chocolate cream. You yeah. got this. Okay. Godiva. Godiva. And where'd you get all these nips? Oh, I got all these at Cappy's, and the nips for tonight only cost me like just under $15. It's... For all this, like if you're just like making one for yourself, like. I, I, I prefer. It's going to be even cheaper. <laughs> Let's be honest. Who makes one? Uh, no one. Right. Uh, it's just a good example of how you can just make one. You guys, this is like the Dollar Tree Saver special. That's right. <laughs> well, plus you got to figure out which one's your favorite, right? That's right. true. And we're just showing you how to make one, but you can make the whole picture. So go out and buy all the nips so you can figure out which one from tonight you liked and then stock up with the one that's your favorite. <laughs> exactly. So we got vanilla vodka, the chocolate cream liqueur, and peppermint. Peppermint schnapps. So we're just gonna put a couple cubes in our shaker. So, so Lisa, no one makes just one. At least no, but no parent <laughs> makes just one. Actually, somebody give a <laughs> listen, Johnson. One action if you only make one, because I need to see how many of you. <laughs> you guys, I love our comments. It's so cute. This is going great. Remember, you can win $100. Right. Just cut yeah, 100 it. bucks. Yeah, maybe. Talk to you. It's a party. We're having a party. Guys, it's hard. Like, this is the holiday season. We're supposed to be partying right now. Like, this is what we're doing. We're Zooming. I know, right? Well, I'm partying. And Amy, you're wearing a red festive sparkle sweater. Oh, uh, yeah, girl. Wait, turn around. Is there a ribbon on the back of that? It's like a insert or something oh know. my god i have a red wait that's kind of an elsa costume i'm so it kind of is. it's like a red version like it's legit frozen i love it <laughs> hi lorraine what is lorraine crap i love the candy cane rum uh -huh. but and karen we, we love karen we're making we're just mixing it now so yep. we got vanilla vodka you can get smirnoff or pinnacle whatever is at the store um a chocolate liqueur Amy got this nice nip that I've never seen before, actually. Um, it was Mozart, not special. Mozart chocolate cream. Discounted. But you can use Godiva or just creme de coco. Okay. Whatever, whatever works. No, so vanilla, so it's okay. vanilla, okay. vanilla, okay. vanilla okay. chocolate okay. cream, and what else? So chocolate, chocolate cream, the peppermint schnapps, and, and vanilla vodka. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah. Pretty simple, three ingredients. And then we just give her a shake. Let's do a little cocktail. cocktail. Earlier, the different drink. I don't know if there's a non alcoholic version of this. We can see about what David suggests that maybe you could substitute chocolate syrup for the chocolate. Or you could make yourself a nice cup of cocoa and. It's this, know, oh, put, put some mint leaves in it. I oh my know. gosh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. You can crush up the mint leaves, put it in the hot cocoa, and stir it with some crushed yeah. candy cane. Yeah. With a candy cane spoon. Stir. That sounds really good outside the <laughs> fire during an outdoor <laughs> play date. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like really chocolatey. Yeah, this. this I didn't imagine it to be so dark. This Mozart cream is like good quality stuff. Oh my god, you guys, cheers, amaze. Are you gonna drink that? Ooh, that's beautiful. Cheers. Wow, that looks amazing. Cheers, cheers to our friend Karen Wall. She broke her ribs and uh -huh. I wish I could bring this over to you and share it with you. Party, Salisa. Yeah. Oh my god. This is so good. It tastes like a Girl Scout cookie thin mint. <gasps> I yeah. love those. Oh my Between god. Between those and the um caramel coconut, what are those? The Samoas? Amazing. Oh That's amazing, David. That is amazing. David. That's called like disaster. Like basically it tastes amazing, and then you have one or like three, and then you make a really bad yeah. call. <laughs> this is definitely really good. I like it. You could pair it with with a good dessert it's a good mm -hmm. dessert drink it's a good uh one to pair with a girl scout cookie for yeah. sure you could also pair it with the drunk dial app which like basically shuts your phone off when you call numbers you shouldn't call after you drank too much no way that exists yeah you guys i tried it it was really good like in my 20s i used to have somebody i would call and 
you can, when you're sober, enter their number in the drunk dial app. And if you're like after five, you call them, your phone shuts off and it's like, yeah, done. And locks until the morning. <laughs> I that love it. Yeah, I am good. Anyway, that's a good pair for that, that drink too. Yeah. I love, I love this one. So I would even maybe add a splash of Bailey's in here or cream. You could use a little cream milk and that would, I think, balance it out a little bit more. So you could even kind of put the same thing in with like probably a hot chocolate. A hot chocolate. Would be a good base and for it. an espresso it. or a coffee. coffee. Coffee in the morning on Christmas. No, I'm not doing that. Not at all. <laughs> coffee in the morning. Husband, take She's notes. Saving these myths. This one, this is what I want when I wake up before we come down to see if Santa came, okay? <laughs> this is what I need my head. Is that a rule in your house, Alice? Like when our kids come down the stairs, before anybody can come down, the rule is mom has to have her cup of coffee in her hand and already be seated on the couch comfortably before they're allowed down. Yeah, like I want to be like ready for the whole action. That's true. Phone people. All right. Yep. Go yeah. On. I just say, David, I love that you're holding like a 1990s video camera like that <laughs> as it was our phone. Like that's old school. Uh, yeah, no, totally. Um, yeah, I think now we do do that. Although, yeah, and actually I'm so grateful. My kids used to wake up at like four and now they finally wake up at like seven. But I remember like 3 a.m. and they'd be like, is Santa here? Is it time to get up? And you'd be like, no, go back to bed for two more hours. It's the worst. See, the rule is you can't get up till everybody's up. Nobody can go down until everybody's And so I yeah. get to sleep as long as possible. Mom's out there. I have a piece of advice. I used to say, don't Santa might come late to found. Like, he might not get here until 6. So, honestly, if you guys wake up too early, you might scare him, and he will not leave you presents. That's right. So maybe you should stay in your bed until Mommy wakes you up. Because if you scare him and he sees you in the, in the um, chimney – He's gonna run and you'll have <laughs> no it's like amazing like they have stayed in bed because until i wake them up because they don't want to scare santa that's a great hack <laughs> it's kind of good like this is why we come to cape cod moms we get mom's tips right. yeah tell them don't scare santa till mom <laughs> gets you bitch. <laughs> wait a bitch is a man <laughs> even a dog <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just a reminder, make sure you're commenting because you're entered to win $100 tonight. We just finished this delicious drink. Highly recommend this one. Again, recipe will be up later on the website. But this one, I think, is a must on Christmas morning, right? Yeah. I mean, Alex. Get your day going right I, away. I'm telling you, you need to make this one for Christmas morning. LT, go shopping. <laughs> shopping LT's morning. coming to visit. He's coming on Saturday. Go shopping, bun. That's right. Go over to Cappy's. They have everything you need. <laughs> All right. So the next one we got. What's what's the next one, David? Let's do a simple one next. Okay. Let's do an easy one. I like easy. You no, know, easy peasy. Easy between the unwrapping of the presents as they're tearing through right. everything. We need a quick one. Like a, just a, like, you can down this in two seconds. All right. Let's do it. All I'm right, excited. So any normal glass. Oh, it's getting ice. We're chilling now. Alex, are you ahead on your Christmas shopping, by the way? Um, I would never use the word ahead on my Christmas shopping. No. 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 I mean, I think I'm like sufficient or deficient. One of the two. <laughs> I've ordered a bunch from Amazon. Stuff's so coming like slowly, but I don't know. How about you? I'm I'm getting there. I I I, I made an Amazon wish list and then put all the, like the nephews and nieces and took care of all them. Like oh, the I haven't even I, thought about like extended family. Oh, uh, I took care of all the ones I'd have to ship first. And wow, then, you're like an impressive auntie. Like I'm basically like totally a loser. I can handle my kids and that's it. <laughs> well, I, tr I tried to make an effort this year about what they want. Usually I have a little longer. And then with the kids, I had this list, and every so often I just pick one item to kind of get going. But I'm, I'm down to just the photo gifts, which is something I always kind of slack on to like the day. Oh, before. well, that's good. But I heard we have to like order on Amazon now. Oh, yeah. You have to 
You have to order from Amazon now because otherwise you might not get your packages. Yeah. Sure. And by the way, I didn't do Christmas okay. cards this year, moms. And I know a lot of you did. And I love getting them. But like I was such a loser. I didn't do them because I was kind of like mad about 2020. Wow. And then I feel like everybody sees my kids on social media anyway. And then I just was like, eh. So I didn't do it. Oh, uh, that's okay. You know what? I, I, Merry Christmas, you guys. Go to you Facebook. Can send, it, you can send, send it for my New Year. Send it for 2021. That's what everybody should do. If you didn't send a card for Christmas, send yeah. one sometime in 2021 and maybe our luck will change. I'm thinking I'm going to take a picture of me getting the vaccine and I'm oh, going to send that. Thank you. That could be fun. I'm going to be like, cheers to 2021. <laughs> Just a picture of me and my kids getting the vaccine. Oh, uh, look, people checked in. My mom, Phoebe office. Woo. Hi, mom. What does the work mean? You better not be okay. in my house, Karen. <laughs> I got I got Santa out there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Karen's egging your house? Why is my mom saying what? Mom, what are you even talking about? She because you probably haven't bought for your extended family yet. You just got caught. Uh oh. Oh, maybe because I didn't get mom, I got you a gift. Don't worry, it's coming. All right, don't worry, Phoebe. We're going on to the simple group. Make yourself <laughs> David, make thing. Sorry. I feel better. <laughs> oh, she said no card. She's pissed I'm not sending a card. She's going to send a 2021 card. All right, you've seen us. You know what we look like. Go ahead, David. We're right here, right now. <laughs> All right. <Take> a <laughs> It'll last longer. <laughs> All right, so the next one is just, uh, I like to call it a Christmas mule. It's Tea Betty Cranberry Vodka, which we got right at our bar here. Now, this was one we used at Halloween. We used this at Halloween. So, too. look, we're reusing <laughs> so we can get through yeah, all our booze. I love all Tea Betty Vodka. They have lemon, peach, cranberry, tea, um, just regular plain vodka. I haven't actually tried the regular one. I, I guess I should test it out and see how it see how it compares to Tito's. But, um, so this one is just Deep Eddie Cranberry Vodka and Ginger Beer. Tonight we got Goslings, but you can also use Krabby's Alcoholic Ginger Beer or, you know, any kind of like Jamaican Ginger Beer that's really good at the store. Um, yeah, anything will do. Wait, David, what is that red stuff? What is that? This is uh, the Eddie Cranberry. Oh, Eddie Cranberry. Cranberry. Okay. So this is out of Austin, Texas, the same city that Tito's is out of. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like that the um, Eddie's flavored vodkas are good. Yeah. Like even the lemon one I've had is really good. The or... lemon one is my all-time favorite. I love it. You can have that with like just straight like soda water. It's amazing. Yeah, for sure. So just like roughly a shot of this. And then just top it off with ginger beer. Like even the lemon. Hi, Lady Jax. And just for like, you know, contrast, you know, Christmas time, I like to add a little sprig of mint. So it's just that and ginger beer? Yeah. That's like That's really like simple. Like based off of like a Moscow mule, which is just vodka and ginger beer. With a little what? Is that all a Moscow mule is? Yeah, and a little squeeze of lime. Like you could add a squeeze of lime to this, or I prefer a lemon always. But oh, I thought it was so much more complicated. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I like that little garnish too. Yeah, it's, it's like a little. And people at home, if you want to go buy those like copper little, you know, I love when they're served Moscow yeah, mule little copper yeah, glasses. I really like serving them in like those nice little copper mugs, but those copper you know, mugs. If you don't have them lying around the house, then any glass will do. No, it's fine. If you're like super high meat or you want to go to like William Sonoma or Crate and Barrel and buy like a copper little like thimble See, glass. About those is that you can't even put them in the dishwasher because the copper just like rips off. Oh. Uh, okay, hold the phone. We're not getting them then. We're not. Anything that doesn't go in the dishwasher, like I'm already so annoyed, you guys, with my steak knife. <laughs> Like I have these expensive <laughs> knives that are all going in the dishwasher. Who um, has time to actually wash dishes? I hate all things that don't go in the dishwasher. Uh, I, I, I throw it out. If they can't go in the dishwasher, it's good. No, but like, let's talk about our knives. Like <clears throat> I always have like seven or eight steak knives 
in my like sink and then they cut my fingers. I'm always have like a million band-aids on my hands. Oh, you like, wash those? I stick them in. You there. put those in the dishwasher? I know you're not supposed to. I do it anyway. That's why I need no, a new knife five, five years later. I don't. And then I'm like oh, annoyed. Like crappy ones. What? One that, that go through the dishwasher and then you have your rack of like, uh, um, the good stuff, you know, the, Pairing knife, yeah, the pairing a knife. Chef's knife, and like those ones you gotta wash by hand. Well, the it's steak the worst. Knife for everyone at at the table for steak night is like just throw it in the dishwasher. Who cares? Yeah. Lady Jax, thanks for joining us all the way from Sandwich this evening. Hey, all the way from Sandwich. From sandwich. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Sandwich, actually. <laughs> you are? Did you grow up there? I grew up in Sandwich. I was a class of 2000. Can you believe that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. like five years old. <laughs> David, how old are you? Are you in class of uh, class of like 2000, David? I, you don't even want to know. Down the tide, 2011. <laughs> it just made me feel so old. Hey, everyone. Everyone in the comments, guess when I graduated from high school. All right. I know I look really young. If you guess right. Wrong answer. If you guess right. You might get a special call from Alex. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I graduated a certain year and see if you can guess. Okay. Anyway, what's the next drink? What's the next drink? Okay. Um, Amy, drink up. Oh, so this was the Moscow Mule, and it, really quick while I'm sipping this one, Christmas what, Mule. Christmas Mule. Why? Why is it called a mule? Is it because it's muddled together? Like, what is the point? It just, you know. Hi, I Susan Moffat. Sorry, well, Susan Moffat's an amazing photography um, teacher at Fountain Academy. She just joined us. Hi. This is really light. It's refreshing. Perfect so, for a mule. Um, and I like the mint. I yeah. like actually having it on the stick like that. Because you get the like arrow. Yeah, I'm getting it in my nose so I can really <laughs> taste that mint. Mallory that? guessed my high school. You're right. 91, Mallory. Because Mallory was in fun. my high school class. Oh my God. She was my best friend in high school in Cleveland. And here she is. Look at how cute she is. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. No. Yeah. Oh my god, 2000. Thank you, Lady Jackson. No, you're so sweet. <laughs> I'm actually like a hundred and you guys are 2015. I like it. Yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> guys, except for the antler that when you're uh, a stag and your antlers grow really long, it means you're old. And, not old. <laughs> and yours look short as ever. <laughs> oh, I was the honor girl in half of Thank you, Alta. <laughs> you, got it. You, need to go to, you need to go to Cappy's, LT, okay? <laughs> LT's going to Cappy's when he comes to visit Cleveland. So Excellent. <laughs> All right, wait, what else do we need to buy at Cappy's, David? Tell us. Yeah, one, oh, one more drink. One here. more drink. Let's let's go to the last one. We're gonna we're gonna save this one so we can. I gotta clean out my street. Guys, I also want to show oh. you my own drink when you're done. Wait, you want to show us what? I have a little drink here I'm gonna make for you. Oh, I'm excited about this. It's a good prize. LT says he's the class of 88. You're shut it. You're class of 91 with me. I was gonna say I was six then. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lady Jacks, looking younger. You know what? I have a really good foundation on. I got it at Walmart. It's called Cover Girl. <laughs> <laughs> it was on clearance. No, seriously. You want to like a nice sponge. <laughs> and you can really just like uh, X out the red and the spots. These kids keep us young. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Moment. I'm all by myself. I know. You know what? I can't wait for when I get all my Christmas wish list out. We're gonna be able to film outside in the backyard. Yeah. And we can be distanced. Oh we went to uh David over to our house next time. <laughs> 
All right, David, let's oh, get the next week. All right, next up we have our... So is this a martini? This is a martini. Oh, so this we one got a martini egg, glass, though, yeah. or coupe, whatever you want to call this. Um, or you can just use any glass you want, and you can put it on the rock or not, if you would like. Um, but we have our ice machine here. So with like this, Captain Morgan, or you know, any spice rum that you choose. Do you know what the lady asked me? She asked me if, if I was sure that I didn't want to upgrade to the hundred proof, and I'm like, she's like, well, it's the same price. And I'm like, I don't know if I want the hundred proof. I mean. You by okay. all means, if you want to really jack it up, then go for it. If you're only having one. <laughs> or, two. or two on Christmas morning. If you all if you want to pass out by the time they're on the third present, <laughs> have the hunter proof. <laughs> or you take a shot back before you have one of these. Exactly. Um, and then we have butterscotch schnapps. Ooh, what is that butterscotch schnapps? Yeah. Mm. Now that was, that was what we reused from the fall cocktails as well. Right. So David tried to look at things that we could reuse within the same kind of general time frame. Which That's is really good economically, because if it's still in your bar from October, you might want to use it in December. Exactly. Yes. Well, I kept it in the fridge, so. Hashtags, savings, Cape Cod Moms, savings. Dollar Tree special. <laughs> yeah, totes. What don't they sell this at the Dollar Tree? It's got no alcohol. They should. Yeah, Dollar Tree totally needs to get a liquor license. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to start with, um, you want to start with the eggnog, actually. Because if you start with the booze, it might curdle. Ooh. Like if you add, I don't know why this is. So if you put the booze Don't call me a scientist. I'm just a mixologist. But... <laughs> Wait, David, what did you put first in there? So you put the eggnog. What did, so you put the eggnog this in This year, first. whatever, any name brand hood, this, that, eggnog. That eggnog you over ice. And then you want to do the butterscotch because that's a lower proof. Oh, so you're layering it. As yeah. you How much that. are you putting in, though? You're not measuring it. Well, if I had a speed porter or a shot glass, I would... I would say roughly like two ounces of eggnog, one ounce of butterscotch schnapps, and then. So, like, what's a count? Like, we don't have ounces. Like, are you like one, one thousand, two, one thousand? I think you just did about a five, a three to five. I mean, everyone has to come up with their own count. Like a three count, like I two pounds of eggnog. You to apply apply at the landfall, I could train you. I might work there this summer. That's a good idea. When COVID is over, we should have a Cape Cod Moms bartending training night in person. <laughs> I might be kind of like David, we can't be behind the bar together because we would do nothing. <laughs> no, we would crush it. We would actually do really well. Yeah. Everybody give us a love, a little heart. I'm actually that rethinking that. Them. Like, I could probably make a lot of money this summer. What'd you say? Once the vaccine happens, like I could probably crush it at the landfall with you. Just give me that vaccine, like Vax. That will be good. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. All right. So we got our eggnog. We got our butterscotch schnapps. And then we have our Captain Morgan. So this is only a shot. This yeah. Shot. An ounce and a half. I'm gonna add a little bit more. For all of those of you for, who aren't familiar with nips, like if you're not driving and drinking a nip and throwing it out the window, a nip is just a shot. Okay. Oh, and by the way, stock up on your nips while you can still get them on the Cape Yeah, by the way, nips are like a thing of the past, particularly on Cape Cod, because people drink with them and wolf them and then throw them out the window. So they don't get them. Just dispose of them properly, just, please. Listen, guys, it's it's really easy. Just keep a keep a track. Yeah, like if you're gonna have a nip, like just throw them out the trash. No, yeah. I'm we're not advising anybody to drink and drive. No, not at all. Bad no, call. Don't do that. Never get behind the wheel. Buy a sleeve, take it home, and sit in your living room and do it. Have a nip in your room. Because uh -huh. that's where the trash can is and easily accessible. 
Yeah, and you're a trash can if you're driving and drinking a nip. Exactly. You're trash. <laughs> so no driving, no throwing nips up the nose. All right. Okay. So we'll okay, anyway, that. enough of our... Uh, yeah. Wait, said Mallory goes, Alex doesn't know what ounces are, which is true. I was uh, told the other day, I didn't know what an ounce was. I, I thought it was like you could weigh it, but I guess it's... I don't know. I thought you could put it in a measuring cup and you can't. <laughs> What are we talking so about? What did we decide? There's isn't there in in every nip? It's like one point five, right? Ounces. No, a shot is one point five. I don't really know. It, I don't think it says on here what it is, but I'm assuming that it's one ounce. So we're gonna add a little bit more because we're drinking a martini. We want to get like a like a nip and a half in this. Really, is what we want. Because that's heavier on that taste. Right. I mean. You wanted to do something for you, right? So, Jackie and Lady Jack's about a, a shot and a half. David, let's see more movement with that shake. A little more. I know. All I see is tips and tricks here. David, you're a cute bartender. We want to see you shake it. Guys, you need to check out my story of him shirtless doing an upside down handstand. Guys, if. Okay, I'm up next as we go. I'm going to show you how to shake a tequila drink. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we did it! <laughs> All right. So we shook our martini. Oh, the nutmeg, right? And we're gonna add our nutmeg. Oh my gosh! You know what would make this really pretty too is a cinnamon stick. Oh yeah, yeah that would be good. Yeah, cinnamon stick, but if you're not into aesthetics, then nutmeg will be fine. I like the nutmeg. Oh, could you add cardamom? Because you know, cardamom is a actual. Have you ever heard of this? It's a spice um, that actually is an aphrodisiac. It's not just a mom in a car. No, it's cardamom. So you could drink these. <laughs> you could drink these all along and eat your oysters. Yes. And have yourself a great Christmas night. That's right. After the kids are exhausted from their sugar rush, right? <laughs> yeah. Right after church, guys, you make this. <laughs> don't drink this before you go to church. <laughs> All right, Amy. I'll bring it to church. So pretty. Hold on, before before we, I, I, you know what? I didn't take any yeah, pictures. I, so I guess I have to Instagram. Is anybody going to church this year? Like, can we go to church for Christmas Eve? Um, I think the aren't the restrictions now that we can't. Um, Look at Lady Jack. She's so engaged. She's gonna grab those ingredients now. Lady Jack, are you going to Kathy's right now or somewhere? Yes. Uh, Jackie, All right. I'm going to post an Instagram. Say hi. Oh. hi. I just want to say thank you so much for all of our people commenting. It's so amazing. We love it. Like, Salissa, uh, Karen, everyone's awesome. LT, Mallory, you guys are great. No, Jackie, send, send Matt out right now to go get these ingredients. You need to have this. He can find the eggnog. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. All right. I'm excited. Tell how it is. Wait, right. do you guys want to see my drink now? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got oh, are you done? David, do you have another drink? Do I? Yeah. I oh, should. my I God. This is. I got is that go. dick? I'm kind of having FOMO right now that I'm wow. not there. Nice. I feel like we need to mix one of these up and you have to drop it off at our house on the way. Oh. Yeah, like it's kind of rude. Like, so guys, this, is like totally like, this, this is it. This is it. This right? is like eighth grade when I'm getting left out of a threesome. You are getting left out, sorry to say. I wish my kitchen were bigger so we could I could yeah. I could get two air filters in here. We could filter out the air. Well, later you guys, these are gonna be off the chain this summer. That's right. Um, all right, you wanna see my well, my drink is not that interesting. No, we want to hear what drink you've done because we're, we're going to yeah. talk in a couple more minutes. So I'm just going to show you that sometimes I drink at home for you ladies. Um, okay, so I get this little uh, Pure Agave Reposado tequila. Espolone. What? Espolone. Yeah, it's not rotten. You know, 27 bucks. Is that what? Yeah, I feel like that's not bad. Okay, listen, this is what I do. I take a glass with some ice. I do like a one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. That's a solid pour, peeps. That's not blackout. That's yeah. called I'm having a good time. Oh, then, that's a landfall pour for you. I like it. Yes, I'm right. And then you take a seltzer water, 
Polar Seltzer, shout out to the Corrales of Magansett. Love ya. All right, then you pour a little soda water in, right? Not rotten. Then check this shizzle out. You guys, this is totes chilling. I got this little like uh, Cuervo, ooh, margarita. It's not a margarita, but like I want the whole thing because it's kind of nasty town, yo. So what I do, you open it up. You can get this at any like basic liquor store. Just anything to take off that little edge. You just want to take the edge off. It's kind of like a skin hero, but like a variation. I do like a couple pour. One, two. And then I cut up a lemon or a lime. You know, I like a I like both. So you cut them up. I already did that beforehand because it's kind of like I'm on the Today Show and I prepare. <laughs> and then I squeeze. People are prepared. I was impressed I like with that. It. Guys, like, I'm not kidding around here. I squeeze and squeeze. Next and then I do a little <laughs> of And then. How is it? Wait, that's like really good. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow after I'm done blacking out. <laughs> so what are we going to call that one? The Alex? Uh, we're going to call it, you guys, this is actually really good. This um, is now I have FOMO because I feel like I need one. <laughs> what are we going to call it? The Specarita? Specarita. We love I it. Love that. I love that. Who doesn't want the specarita? It's half chimichanga, half, I don't know. <laughs> She's got a couple of those behind the scenes. You need yeah, to pretty good. Time. You guys, the specarita is not rotten. You spend your holidays with it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so that's just a little, like, a little thing from my end that I thought I'd share. No, I like it. Will you send us that recipe so we can share it? <laughs> yeah, I'll send it. it. In case, you forgot three <laughs> in case you can't manage it, I will send you the spreadsheet of ingredients. Who was supposed to blackout? I was talking. How you guys have other comments? They're so fun. How many moms and dads watching right now get blackout or take a good nap on Christmas Day? Guys, who's in brownout zone on Christmas? Moms and dads. You're I, it out. I'm still a kid, and I take it out. I take it right after my monkey birthday. <laughs> I go over to my mom's house, and you know, we open the presents, and then I go take a nap, and then I wake up, and then the food's ready, and then but, I take another nap. It's just mad. Hold on, David. Do you still believe in Santa? For the sake of the show, I sure do. <laughs> Listen. What do you think about Santa coming during COVID, David? Are you upset? I heard that the CDC said that uh, Santa is immune to COVID. Yeah, he's an elf. It's a whole different. That's why I didn't understand. Some people's elves apparently were quarantining, but he they're... actually is the one that gave us the vaccine. Yeah, he vaccinated himself. I also kind of feel like Santa's a frontline worker, and he might be in the UK, so he got a vaccine. Well, and he's an oh, he's ubiquitous. So, like, wherever the vaccine is, Santa is. And he got he was like first in line. They should have shown him in the wheelchair, not that ninety-one year old lady. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was like, oh, guys, old Saint Nick is coming out on his wheelchair in the UK, and he's the first one to get the vaccine because he's front line. They should have had someone dress up and do that. That would have been a great movie. Actually, it's kind of amusing. He totally needs to be first in line. Yeah, I, I went with the the whole thing that there are different species. The elf on the shelf, Santa, he's an elf. So there's been no COVID tr transmission to another species of elves yet. It's only in humans and unicorns. unicorns. True. <laughs> what was the animal originally? That they narrowed it down to. I don't even remember. That was back in March. Remember, was it a bat? Was it a bat? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can't say. Oh my gosh. So these Just are like we're wrapping up. How do we find out who the winner is, Amy? Well, I've actually been putting their names into random.org over here, and I have everybody's name. 
for their comments. So I'm going to give them another minute or two. You have the last chance to comment to win a hundred dollars cash card. Uh, all you have to do is comment, leave a comment, leave a question for us, uh, share a funny story with us so that you can be entered to win. Um, and so this week we're, we didn't have any nominations, by the way, Alex, for our week of kindness. I'm what do you little, mean? I'm a little disappointed. So every week there's a form that people can fill out and they can nominate somebody else, a mom or a dad or a person deserving in our community of an act of kindness. And then I put together a little gift set for them and, and mail it to them. So if you have someone, and we like to call and surprise them on the air. So if you have someone that is deserving, please, please, please use our link tree, which is on our Instagram or on any of the blog pieces. The link is shared everywhere. And nominate a friend, especially going into the new year. Um, Lady Jack says, Santa is totally all set. The elves made the vaccine. They have it to him, and he's all set. No worries. Santa's good. He'll bring gifts. That's right. He will bring those gifts. Well, should we leave him hand sanitizer beside the plate of cookies? Yeah. Or like a mask? He probably has masks. Do you think he'll be here with masks? Doesn't he have gloves, too? Maybe. Maybe we shouldn't touch any of his presents because they're, like, totally infected. Who's Chris Cat? That's somebody new. Hilarious. Can look you at what's commenting. Yes, I can. Um, I'll tell you what. I will, while we're sitting here talking, let me add Chris, Chris Cat to our list here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Pink paste link. Let's talk Chris about some more moms. This is Cape Cod moms. Let's talk about Cape Cod moms during the holidays. David, I know you don't have kids, but. You can chime in a little bit, but like, uh, how is everyone feeling about like the holidays right now? I mean, are you prepared? Are you, I don't know. I'm feeling sort of like in a pandemic and a little bit frozen. Like I haven't gotten enough presents. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel kind of in like a, I don't know, like a post more warm malaise. You know, it doesn't, it's been hard to, I think, to feel in the holiday spirit. I think the latest news that's been coming down as a result of our, you know, the increase in travel and things like that because of Thanksgiving, I can tell you, like, because I, I, you know, I sit on the superintendent's thing, um, the reopening committee, and we had our meeting this week. Yeah. It was a really hard meeting to be at because the morale, I think, across the board, teachers, staff, parents, it was really low, and I, and I recognized that, and I was I could really feel it from everybody. I'm feeling it myself, and you're like, you're going into the holiday season, you're seeing things rise, and and it's it's hard. You're like, shit, oh my gosh, are we going to be able to do something for Christmas? And chance to take Christmas as something special where you spend it with your just your immediate family, but it's so hard being away from everybody that you love so much, you know? I agree. Yeah. And David, are you, like, David, what are you guys doing? You know, you're in the service industry. Like, are, you're close, essentially, for the winter. So what are you, what are you doing to deal with, like, the whole, like, holiday thing? And how are you spending your winter? Like, are you kind of taking a break until April, or what are you up to? I feel like the best thing to do right now is to just kind of, like, back off and just appreciate what I have and, like, the place that I live in and the town that I'm in, um, you know, I'm just trying to like better myself in any way possible. How was it this summer? Were you nervous? Like when you had to be like starting work in April and like people weren't back to work, but you were there every day, which we give you so much credit for. Were you nervous like all summer serving people and stuff? Um, I mean, it definitely was interesting to be you know i'm not saving lives here i'm just like trying to brighten someone's day well that's yeah that's mental mental health no but i was so grateful like when you guys were open and stuff if we came like i was really respectful that you guys put yourself in front of everyone every day i mean you know the machine got has to keep going like, right. I don't know what yeah. I'm saying. But you weren't, like, worried? I mean, yeah. Part, it, I was actually just talking to my friend 
about it the other day and I was like, I feel like it definitely came in waves because there were times where I was like really concerned about it. And then other times that I was like, man, like what's really going on? Like no one seems to care about this. Like, why do I care about this? Yeah. But now I'm back to like this sort of middle ground where I'm like, okay, I usually travel during my time off, but now it's a little disappointing not to be. It is a little disappointing. David had an awesome. I feel trip like I have an obligation to like just stay put and like not yeah. really contribute to the spread. Yeah. spread. You know, you guys we're going to go on vacation together. Well, I'd love to. So, so Alex, you know, we I was just filling David in on this. I actually have an in with a hotel chain in the Caribbean, and. Mm -hmm. When COVID is starting to subside and we have our travel vaccines, they would love to have us down to do a cocktail mocktail episode at the resort. All expenses paid. Wait, am I included in this? Yeah. Or no? I'm going to fly all of us down. We just have to pay for our airfare. Time but, comes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exciting. So COVID, hurry up. Can we fast forward to 2022? Because I think that's I what know. it's going to take. <laughs> Exciting. Hold on, we've got some quotes. Very hard on these. Lady Jags, you're so sweet. You keep commenting. Oh, and then Chris Cat, we're tracking Santa appearances that seem safe outdoors with controlled number of people so that we can still provide our little girl with the experience of meeting Santa, giving him or her letter, etc. Also, I lights. Love play. that, Chris. You know, um, I was actually telling David, so we're going to knock about the brewery in Nashville tomorrow because they have igloos like the landfall had. And if you get there at a certain time, you uh, can, Captain Kid has igloos. Captain Kid yes. has igloos. And so what you can do is you can. What uh, do they have? Igloos. So you go. Oh, yeah, the Captain Kid has you. And yeah. have a TV at Knockabout set up inside that you video chat. Yeah, like little chat. Yeah, so I'm going tomorrow at four. I'm like so excited about that. Sounds fun. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, yeah David is on your Instagram of the Captain <laughs> Kid. It was cool. May as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's awesome how a lot of the local restaurants are accommodating to COVID right now. And I know the governor has set down some restrictions that are particularly stringent uh, come Sunday. However, I think certain places will still be able to um, accommodate people given the restrictions. So it's it's going to be a couple a tough couple months. I mean, I think yeah. people are nervous they're going to shut us down for January, and February again. Yeah. Which are hard months. It's it, especially here on the Cape. It's pe a lot of people are out of work. It's cold. It's dark. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's a time. You know, you can like if you want to celebrate with people, you might have to do your house. Yeah, uh, with people you know where they've been and like your in you know your little insular COVID circle. Correct. Yeah, and that's the best thing that we can do. You know, and, and, you know, you can still do these virtual type things or, you know, with your circle, you could get together outside. And, you know, I think it's we got to keep bringing each other up. Check on your friends. Check on your family. Um, I think we're all pretty much checking on our family. But maybe reach out to a friend or two, a mom friend or two that, you know, may need to hear some words of encouragement, um, especially as we go into those darker months, because, you know, springtime, it's going to come. The sun will rise again, right? And and we're going to be back on the beach before no time. And yeah. hopefully with vaccinations and playing on those lily pads. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait. Um, but you know, <laughs> in the meantime, take this time either for yourself, work on yourself, work on your relationships emotionally with other people. And go to Cappy's and, or wherever. Right. Stores, not just cappies and local liquor stores and buy these ingredients right let's let's bring back cape cod get wine i know they stopped for a while let's bring it back yeah and have like celebrate with these drinks david thank you so much for these amazing concoctions that you you know we could all make these for make our little christmas parties brighter um of course. absolutely yeah. so guess what I am going to randomize because we're at like 55. Are you going to pick a winner now? We are going to pick a winner. And then whoever wins, you need to like message me or email info at Cape Cod Moms. Or you, if you have my number, you can text me. 
or Alex, if you're friends with Alex, just get me a mailing address to get this to you or drop off to you. So here we go. Are we taking the winner now? David is watching me. He sees all these names, and I'm going to hit randomize. Here we go. Who's the <laughs> Who's number one? Oh my God. Bailey Pierce. Bailey Pierce. <laughs> She's a friend of us. <laughs> Uh, it's your birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Like it's your birthday. We got a drink for Carla. Like it's your birthday. Drinks with your hundred dollars. I'm a dancer now, yo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I want to thank everybody for joining us. I want to thank Alex uh, for joining us again. She's an excellent co-host. It's always a pleasure to have her and her audience join us. For um, anybody who doesn't know, you need to follow her blog. Alex. Yeah, morningmom.org. And if you, read, if you read the blog, you go down, you can see this little thing that says follow underneath, and you yeah. click the plus sign, you add your email. And uh, her Christmas wish list is, like, spot on. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. No, you it's to read that one because that's my Christmas wish. <laughs> no, follow me, and I have a new book, and it's going to come out. Uh, I'm finishing it up. I've had kind of like a rough season of writer's block, but I think I'll be done in a couple months, and I'm going to try and publish it. But it's coming, people. It's coming. My new book. That's right. And so we'll talk about Alex when the new book comes out. We'll have a special show with a special cocktail in honor of her book. We'll have David create one. How yes. Alex, a special, I like that, a specialty, unique cocktail. For I think daughter. I found a working title, guys. It's called Friends with Boats. The Bailey, Salissa, Bailey, Bailey one. Bailey, sure, for real, I won. Yes, Bailey. So everybody, because we give away prizes all the time, especially for commenting. So we won $100. Woo! So Bailey, send me a podcast Commenting, Susan, Lady Jax, Chris Cat, Mallory. Oh, thank you. You're great. And and we're so Aaron. grateful for your support. And I'm grateful for Alex for supporting us. David, always a pleasure. I'm so glad. Amy, you're thank you. Alex, thank He's you. He's so amazing. Much. Please follow him on so fun. Um, and we will have him back over the winter since he's not traveling. Yeah, what's your Instagram if we want to follow you? We'll bring him back. It's at Dave under What is that? Dave dot zero H. Dave dot zero H. Okay, so we should all follow that to follow you. Absolutely. His stories are no? fabulous. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, follow Dave. He's amazing. <laughs> I'm following him. So if you're not following him, you're lame. Okay. You can't be friends with me if you're not following David. <laughs> I love you, Amy. I love you, you too, Alex. And, and thank you again. And thank you to everybody. And, and we will be working again love you, Jenny. sometime in the new year with David and Alex again. And Amy, are you going to contact Bailey to give her her thing, or you need yeah, Bailey, either send your information to Alex or myself. You can private message the page, and I will eat, uh, mail you out the gift card, or I'll drop it off at your house if you're local. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Happy everybody holidays. so much. Happy and, uh, holidays. Happy holidays. May Santa be yeah. good. And uh, yeah, the cocktails, everybody. Love yeah. you. Thank you, guys. Love you. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And should we put it? And it's not.